Hello! Okay, so I don't know why I have inspiration to make this video all of a sudden, but I, when I moved to LA, I was interested in doing, you know, improv, being in the improv scene, you know, and I struggled to find kind of the information on the schools and what to do, because, you know, you've heard UCB, Groundlings, some other things, so um, I'm actually going to compare UCB and Groundlings since I've taken, um, I've only done 101 at both. But I feel like information wise, there's like jack shit out there about them. So I'm just going to kind of go through my experience with them. Just kind of the vibe, you know, it's the vibe of the class. So yeah, let's do that. All right. In today's economy, we have to talk about price because everything costs money. It does, um, especially in LA, the breeding ground of actors and stuff like that. So comparing UCB and Groundlings, I did Groundlings first and the cost was $540. Seems like a lot, but it is 12 sessions. So we met twice a week. Um, sometimes it'll be once a week, depending, you know, right now COVID's a little heavier, so it'll be once a week, but I believe um, it's going back to twice a week. So that's exciting. Um, and then UCB is $500. So a little less, but you're only getting eight classes for the 101 and, but you do have one class show at the end. So it's kind of like your ninth class technically, but um, it was nice to have that class show, which um, Groundlings does not have. So those are the price differences. Okay, so let's get into kind of, you know, the vibe, the formality of each of the schools. And I don't know, it's kind of my opinion on them, I guess. Who am I? Who, what, does it really, really matter? Maybe to you. So, Groundlings to me is like the breeding ground of people who want to be on SNL, essentially. It is, in my opinion, way more competitive than UCB. Most people, you know, you have to audition to actually even start the core track. And then after the core track, you have to do basic, intermediate. I'm checking the website just to confirm myself. Basic, intermediate, you have to pass these or pass fail. And then you have your improv lab and then a writing lab. And then after that is Sunday Company, which is basically your sketch writing. And then if you're good enough to pass through all of that, you're on main company. It's very, very competitive. Um, just the higher you go, I mean, the more chance you have to become a ground lane. And a lot of people on the main company have been there for years. So spots are small. Um, yeah. So that's kind of the groundlings aspect. I'd say if you're very uh, wanting to be a prominent actor, very serious about it, I'd consider doing that just because it's a bit more, I guess, cutthroat, honestly. Like if you think you can do it, do it. Um, on the other hand, UCB is, they do improv 101 to 401. You don't have to audition. There's no pass fail. You can do those four levels, go through, you know, learn the Herald style long form improv and then at the end you do kind of an audition to become on a troupe in a group um that's I think kind of sponsored by UCB and then yeah you're just in a group and then I'm sure if you don't make it and that's kind of the end of your journey with UCB but that one definitely to me is more relaxed I enjoy their style of improv a bit more so I will definitely continue um with UCB, I might try Groundlings again, but for now, UCB is definitely my interest. They both offer um, electives as well. So I took a writing class at the Groundlings, which is all right. Um, it was okay. Um, I was like four online classes, you know, basically just write a sketch, you all read them and that's about it. Um, improv class was a bit better because we were actually in person, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the gist of all of them. I think basically if you don't take anything away from this, just take this one little tidbit. Basically, if you want competitive cutthroat, become an actor, probably Groundlings. But if you want more, just, you can still obviously become an actor through both of these, by the way. Um, both very have very prominent alumni, but UCB to me is just a bit more focused on the learning aspect and less you know, constantly judging you and critiquing you, which 
I like because I'm one, not competitive, and two, I'm not killing myself to be a, an actor. So I just do it for funsies. But yeah, that's my two cents about it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.